Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're doing Masechus Erevin, Perek Dala, Mishnah Beis and Gimel. Mishnah Beis states, They were on a boat. <clears throat> they didn't come into the port. They were, they were sailing. They wanted to get home to, to the port before Shabbos began, but they didn't. They weren't successful. They didn't come into the port until it was after Seis HaKochavim on Friday night. Amulo, excuse me, Amulo Largum Leo. Manulere, can we come into the city, right? They, they docked in some city, Jaffa Port. It's owned by, now, uh, Jaffa Port was bought by um, Guatemala Adani, the richest man in Asia. <laughs> he bought the Jaffa Port. So you're in the Jaffa Port over here. Can we get, can we, can we go down into the city of Jaffa? Jaffa, the city, Tel Aviv, Jaffa area. Amar lehen mutarum atem. He said, you could. Shakfar, he seems to We are already in the Tchum. We're already in the city limits. We're already within 2,000 amos off the shore, off the coast, within 2,000 amos, less than 2,000 amos before Seidel Chavim. So therefore, we're already in the borders of the city. So therefore, that's our city, and we can get off. Gimel Mishigatza Birshus, someone who left his Tchum, he was allowed to leave the Tchum. Normally, you're not allowed to leave the Tchum, but you are in certain circumstances, for example, to go and to based in and to report that you saw a new Levana, the Gemara in in Rosh Hashanah, says you're allowed to violate Shabbos to Mekadosh to Chodesh. Or Sakonis Nefashos, you're going to save someone, you know, there's a huge earthquake in Turkey, you're going, in Syria, you're going to save people from the rubble or something like that. So, you're allowed to leave the Tchum on Shabbos. Um, and on the middle, on the way there, they told him, no, there's no more Sakana anymore. Um, either the people died or the people were saved. Even though he's in the middle of the, the wilderness, he has he has his his Dalit Amos and he has two thousand Amos, right? If he's in a city limits, he has the whole city plus two thousand Amos outside. So if he's in a city, he has the entire city. If he's in, in the wilderness, then he gets two thousand Amos, just like a regular Tchum. If his two thousand Amos, right? What if he right was in the was in the Tchum, right? He didn't leave the city limits. Right? I mean, this doesn't mean he's actually within 2,000 Amos. He's within 4,000 Amos, meaning his 2,000 Amos overlap into the the city limits where he came from. He didn't go so far out. So he can go back to his Tchum and he's allowed to go. Anyone who goes out to, see, to save somebody, he goes back to his place. Now, that is Mishnah. It's not exactly like the beginning of the Mishnah. Anyone who goes out to say Chosalim Koma. Now, we just said that you can only go back, right, with it, if you're within 2,000 Amos of the, the, the city limits. Let's say someone went out to save some from Atzalus Nafashos or to help someone give birth or something like that. And they left, and they're 10,000 Amos from the city limits. They're really in the middle of the wilderness. They can't go back. We just said you have to be within 2,000 Amos. You only have 2,000 Amos. So is there... Um, a distinction between the end of this Mishnah and the beginning of the Mishnah, there is. I will tell you this distinction in Ian Mitzion coming up next.